Tip number 57. If you are testing your prototype and something is wrong, do not keep connecting other prototypes. And uh, maybe you've been in a similar situation or maybe even in the same situation, what I'm going to describe. So imagine that uh, you just received five of your very first prototypes, yeah? completely new project, you received five boards. You pick one of the boards, you connect it to power and it doesn't work. What you are going to do? You pick different board. Yeah? No, I would pick different board. Many people would pick different board uh, because uh, we were speaking about this. Yeah? If, you, if you have five prototypes from production, very first prototypes, there is quite high chance that two of these prototypes uh, may have some problems, two or three. So maybe you were unlucky. Yeah? Maybe you just pick up the wrong prototype. Uh, so just try a different one. You connect the second board to power and it doesn't work. Now it's getting uh, quite serious. Okay. Please do not keep connecting other boards. Do not take the third prototype and connect power and it doesn't work fourth, it doesn't work fifth, doesn't work. Because uh, from my experience, if two of boards are not working, there may be something wrong, right? I mean like really seriously wrong. Something even wrong in the schematic. And uh, what may happening is when you connect power, something may be damaged. So before you connect the third prototype, try to investigate what is wrong or what can be wrong on the two boards which, uh, which are not working. Again, this may look like a simple tip, but uh, when uh, again when i was starting with hardware design i was impatient yeah I, I connected i would connect maybe even four boards just to see if there is uh, something uh, maybe i don't know hoping it will work usually it doesn't okay if two of the boards are not working usually the third one is not going to work too because there is probably something wrong the problem is uh, to decide how to debug or investigate the issue, the problem, because you really may need to connect the third board, but you need to be prepared to, to watch what is happening on the board. Yeah, because maybe if you damage the first one and the second board, you are not going to be able to find out what the problem is because it's damaged. Yeah? So you may need to connect the third board, but be prepared and maybe do it in some steps. Yeah, maybe disconnect part of the circuit and start with the power supplies or something like this. Do not just blindly connect it to power and hope it's going to work. Tip number 57. If you are testing your prototype and something is wrong, do not keep connecting other prototypes. Why? This way you may quickly damage all your prototypes. First, figure out what's wrong.